Hey guys, long time, no vlog. I believe the last time that I vlogged was last freaking summer in Spain or something, which is crazy. Um, but I was in a vlogging mood today for some reason. I don't know why, so I'm just gonna take you guys along with me through the day. I'm um, looking a little crazy right now because I just showered and my hair is still in a bun. <laughs> Today I have a hair removal, laser hair removal appointment, but it's like a little bit later in the day. It's like at 5.45 or something. Um, and before that, I'm going to go to Gelano and we're probably going to eat some good food later as well. So I might do a little mukbang maybe, but I have to take care of my skin first. I'm just going to pop on some hydrating serum. My skin has been feeling so freaking dry the past couple of days and I also have this huge pimple but you can't really see it because it's under my skin but like those are the worst freaking pimples because I just I can just feel it sitting there if you know what I mean like it feels heavy on my face which is just not fun I'm also gonna film a YouTube video today it's probably gonna be a makeup tutorial I saw this amazing makeup look on Instagram yesterday and I just got so inspired so I'm probably gonna film today I do have to charge my camera before I film though. So I just finished filming my makeup tutorial. This is the end result. I don't know if the video is already going to be up or if I still have to upload it. I don't know. Um, so now I'm going to change out of this top again. I always wear like a fancy cute top and then just joggers or pajama shorts. <laughs> So now I'm gonna change back into my comfortable shirt and I'm gonna make some I'm gonna go but but I'm gonna make myself some food Because it's one and I haven't had lunch yet. So this is what I'm wearing today It is a jogging suit from pretty little thing. I probably wear this like three times a week or something <laughs> This has been washed so many times, but it just stays perfect. It's like my favorite comfortable go-to outfit but yeah i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear with it yet probably my air force ones just to be comfortable i have been trying to do this hairstyle for the past 10 minutes and i just cannot get it right so i'm talking about the madison beer bella hadid hairstyle where you take a big ass hair clip and just like effortlessly tie your hair or like clip your hair in a ponytail or kind of like bun or what it is but I just can't get it right so I keep like looking at pictures and like tutorials on YouTube and basically what you do is you make a ponytail like this which already looks stupid because my forehead is really really big and then you twist it like two times or something and then you bring it up like this and then you take the clip what's wrong with me why can't I do it Okay, so I think I kind of did it because from the side, it looks kind of cute, but then in the front, it just looks so ugly. I just don't get this hairstyle because it looks so cute on everyone else except for me. I think I'm doing something wrong. Okay, that looks better. Hmm. Guys, I'm in the car with my boyfriend -y. Angelano's being the best boyfriend and driving me to my laser hair removal appointment and I'm super excited to go and I'm also hungry again but it's it's five which is a good time to get hungry again <laughs> um, so yeah after uh, my appointment I think we're gonna go and get some food and we might do a mukbang mukbang I have one question what What's a mukbang bang again? Oh yeah, Janano didn't know what a mukbang was. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if it's mukbang or mukbang, but it's when you just you just eat yeah. and you just talk with your mouth full and Muk just why why does that have a name? I don't know. It's just a satisfying thing to watch people eat. <laughs> Welcome to the Netherlands, guys. The weather always looks like this it's gloomy and raining and it looks gross what's your opinion on the weather today 
weather reporter. <laughs> don't want to think about it. <laughs> we have arrived and we are way too early. It is currently 5.20 and my appointment is at 5.45. And Jolano told me that we could leave at 5 and get there at 4 and get there at 5.45. And I was like, no, let's leave at 4.45 because I want to be on time. And now we're too early, as always. I always want to be early, but it's raining and I didn't even know it was gonna rain today but it's raining really really hard which is really annoying okay guys so I just arrived and I showed you the room last time I was here on my Instagram story but this is where I'm gonna be for the next I don't know half an hour maybe the room is very very pretty this is the laser it's super white in here so the last time I was here at Skin Lab Maastricht was around three or four weeks ago. Um, so today I'm here for my second laser session. So if you guys didn't already know from my Instagram, I do my underarms as well as my bikini line. And I actually already see very, very amazing results, um, especially with my underarms because I haven't shaved in like four or five days and there's no hair. So yeah, I'm super excited. And maybe I will show you guys a little clip of when we're actually doing the laser. I am done walking to my boyfriend again in the car. It was super quick, by the way, only like, 20 30 minutes um it only took around half an hour not even and i'm gonna keep you guys updated on youtube as well as on instagram and i'm gonna come back again in around four or five weeks for my next appointment and now we are going to get some food are you hungry babe yeah yeah i am super hungry <laughs> okay guys we present to you our food so we have two pokeballs we have vegetarian pokeballs with tofu then we have two sushi rolls also vegetarian sushi rolls and we have a noodle mix with um greens and tofu and just everything i don't know yeah. i'm gonna start with my pokeball it looks so delicious i'm gonna open up a window because it's fucking hot can you open this for me we have some soy sauce. What's this? Wasabi? Yeah, it's like wasabi mayo or something, but I don't really like their wasabi okay. mayo. We're making a restaurant in the car, guys. First bite. Oh. I'm eating the sushi with a fork. Fork? fork? <laughs> yeah. We have chopsticks, but Giordano always asks for a fork utensils. I also asked you guys to ask us questions on Instagram, so we're gonna ask, so we're gonna answer some questions that you guys asked us, asked us, asked us. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, what is something that makes you cringe for both of us? Uh, I, I know something. Someone that is lying, but you know they are lying. You know? What do you mean? Like, someone's telling you a story. And they're lying, uh, but yeah, they're, yeah, you know you, it's not true. Yeah, you are like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that's nice. But <laughs> you actually know that's... Oh, like, a nice story, but I yeah. know you're lying. Yeah. I don't really have something that cringes me out. Yeah, yeah. What? Many things. I don't, I don't know that now, but... I can't think of a specific thing. Question number two. Who would you be if you were a Kardashian slash Jenner? I would be... Courtney or Kylie. And you? Yeah, I have no clue because I <laughs> you don't, don't know, know who the Kardashians are. <laughs> uh, I know, but I don't really know. Know them? Yeah. yeah. How tall is your boyfriend, and how tall are you? So I am super small. I am only five foot, and Gelano is six one or six two. What's that in centimeters? I know, like one eighty five to one ninety ish. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Who fights more? Who fights more? Like with each other. Who starts to fight more maybe? That's really random. We don't have... We don't really fight yeah. a lot. We just have useless discussions. Between the both of you, who is bitchier? 
I feel like we're both bitchy. You can be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, if I'm hungry, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Giordano is bitchy when he's super hungry. Well, I am too, but... We're both kind of bitchy. Are you both vegan? Yes, we are. Kind of. Good. So, I'm going to tell you guys a story. So, I was pescatarian for around four years. Then I turned vegetarian. I'm still vegetarian now. I'm trying to be vegan. But sometimes it's kind of hard because it's like the little things that you don't really like notice. Um, uh, for me, it's like sometimes you're just eating something and you don't even know it. And you like, don't even know yeah. it's not vegan. For example, this Poke Bowl, it's vegetarian. But the mayo that they put on top, I'm pretty sure it's not vegan. But it's like, those are like the little things that you don't really think of that make something not vegan, if that makes sense. So we are trying to be vegan and yeah. we do eat vegan most days. But yeah, I wouldn't say that we're like 100% vegan, right? No, like mm, 95 yeah. or something. Definitely. Do you know that Giordano's surname means love you? Yes. Your middle name. Giordano, Giordano Te Amo. So cute. So, next question. So, I asked you guys to ask me funny questions. And the only questions that we got are, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> Don't you think you look like Dora the Explorer? Wow, thank you for the, comp <laughs> for the compliment. I know something that makes you cringe. What? Let me put it like this. You're really trying to connect with your fans, but like there are so many times that you want to connect with them, but they just don't read or listen to you. So they, uh, you're like, uh, ask funny questions and they come up like, like with questions like, do you like France? And that's something you really can't. Uh, yeah, do yeah, you, you mean, really hate that. I think what you're trying to say is also about the DMs and stuff. Like I, I really want to talk to my followers and like connect with my followers, but the amount of junk and spam accounts and <coughs> creepy men yeah. and annoying people that are in my DMs makes it so hard for me to actually like That's reply to my actual thing. followers, you know? What's the funniest thing you have ever done together? Mm. We have done a lot of yeah, funny there, things. There isn't there. Our whole relationship is one yeah. funny thing. <laughs> funny thing. Every day is really? funny funny with Gerardo because he is funny. So it's not like one thing that is super funny. I mm. maybe look boring but I mean you saw my saw me eating sushi with a fork, so You're not boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing, like you sent it to me, uh it was like a quote. Uh, I maybe look boring when... What's the quote again? Oh yeah, so I sent this quote to Gelano. If you think I'm boring, I promise you I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> that's Gelano in one quote. Well, that's also me. I have like, sometimes I talk a lot, sometimes I don't talk at all. And it's not because I'm shy or I don't have anything to say. It's just I can't be bothered to talk to you or can't be bothered to say anything because I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna switch from my poke bowl to my sushi roll. Poke bowl to sushi roll. It's really hot in the car, but when I open the window, you can hear every single noise from all the cars. And because we're parked in the middle of a street, a pretty busy street, um, right by the train station or like the station. This is my roll. Looks so good. I had the same, but it was gone in like five seconds. <laughs> yeah. So I just poured my soy sauce on my sushi and now I'm going to take my first sushi. Oh, shit. I have mayo on my chin. I have mayo on my chin. Are you guys Dutch and how do you speak together? So we are both Dutch and we speak together like to each other in Dutch but we just speak English for the camera and for YouTube, right? Yeah, basically we do nowadays everything in English but only co communication is in Dutch. Yeah, 
we do a lot of things in english because that's like our everyday life instagram youtube like communicating with everyone over the internet is always in english and then just talk dutch to each other but even sometimes when we talk to each other we use english words because we can't come up with a dutch word have you have you ever been recognized and how was it so i don't really get recognized a lot and if i do it's not in the netherlands yeah uh, or it is in the netherlands but they are like sliding into dgms afterwards yeah in the netherlands a lot of people are like really shy and like when they see a when they see um like when they see someone they know of instagram or youtube or like the internet mm. they're not really oh like i'm gonna say hi they just look at you and they stare at you and they give you the death stare yeah and then you see them staring at you and you're kind of like um why are you staring at me do you know me yeah, what's going like, on uh, 99 percent of the times you're like oh i know that that guy or that girl is sliding into the dms after yeah after <laughs> last yeah last week me and Jelano went to ikea and then i got two dms from girls saying hey i saw you at ikea <laughs> yeah but they didn't say anything to me in person not that it's bad but you know that's how it usually is like and then I don't know when we were when we were in Spain last year. I did get recognized by a girl from Finland, which is crazy. I just always think when you see me in person, come say hi because it's actually super fun, and we can take a picture and we can talk or something. Because I really love it when you guys say hi. Normally, when me and Gennaro eat together, we just don't talk because we're so hungry yeah. and so focused on our food that we just don't talk and we just look at our food like this and just eat for 20 <laughs> minutes i'm finished guys that was our mukbang oh copyright <laughs> so i just got to gelano's and oh my gosh guys i am so full like i ate way too much but i hope you guys enjoyed the mukbang also this is going to be the end of the vlog so i hope you guys liked this vlog i don't really vlog a lot um just because i don't really do a lot of stuff like i'm always inside of my house <laughs> or gelano's house um but yeah if you liked the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel make sure you turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video i see the dogs in the garden and they're doing something they're not supposed to do, which is drinking out of the pool. <laughs> okay, guys, bye.